Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial using CMD. CMD, for you that don't know, is the command prompt within the Windows operating system. Now, what we're going to actually be doing is enabling a hidden administrator's account. Now this can be used within Windows 7 and Windows Vista. So if you have Windows Vista, you can follow along. Basically, what happens is if you have troubleshooting problems with your operating system or you just need to try and change something because of you've installed something or enabled something and then it won't let you log in, you can actually use this to get back into your or get back into the master account, change whatever the error was so you can then log back out and then log in as the user that you always use. Now this is easy to see, um, turn on and off. As I said it's, it's just literally a couple of words in command prompt. Um, I'll just show you within the control panel. This is Windows 7 that I'm using. Um, and this is the ultimate version just in case anyone wanted to know. If I click on the user accounts, you'll see that I have my main administrator's account. Now this is the one that was made when I installed my operating system. And if I click on main, manage another account, this will populate and show you the list of any account users that are within this operating system. And as you can see, I've got my ASP.NET machine account, which is a standard user. And I'll also have a guest account, but I don't never use my guest account. Um, so you can see I've just got these three. Now, I'm just going to close that down. Now, there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. You can click start and you can go to run and you can use CMD that way. But to make it easier, if you, oh, sorry. If you go to start and down the very bottom, it says search programs and files. If we type CMD in there, you then get it up here. Now, once you're logged in with the account you always use, you will need to right click and run as administrator for this to work. If you don't right click and run as administrator, you will see this error. So if I just open it up, and as you can see, I've just got it as C users and Aaron. If I then paste in the code we need to use, which is just net space user space administrator space backslash active colon yes, that basically is just saying to the operating system that we want to enable the hidden administrator's account. And if I was to push enter, you'll see that it says system error 5 has occurred, access is denied. Now that's because we're not telling command prompt that we want to run this as an administrator because we are in fact, or the account that we have is in fact an administrator's account, we still have to run the program as an administrator. So if I close that down, come back to start, let's write CMD again, and we right click and go to run as administrator, yes. Now we see we have C Windows System 32. So now this is telling us that we are in fact running within an administrator's account as we're running CMD through the main system of, sorry, the main operating system file, System 32. System 32 basically holds all of the drivers, all of the software, basically anything you install within the system, the files are automatically put into the system32 file. So it just stores all your data basically for all your programs. So if I now right click and paste that code in, when I push enter it should say that that has been completed. So let's push enter and the this Sorry, the command completed successfully. So if I exit out of that, I'm not going to change um, change 
to using that, that account just for the fact that if I try and change it, it will stop the camera working and it will go a bit, well not the camera, it will, it will stop my screen recording and it won't show you me using the other account. But what I can actually do is go to start and as you see, I haven't changed anything else apart from what I've just done in command prompt. I go back to control panel, come back to user accounts. You see, we still have my original one. But now if I click on manage another account, go to yes. And now see, we have an administrator's account here. So anyone that decides to try this, open it up. Sorry, open up command prompt, put in what I just showed you, I will put this in the description below the video just so you can get to it to, to uh, paste that in and basically when you've done that and you get the message the command completed successfully just type exit, exit out of command prompt and then log off as the user you're using and when you log off you should see two accounts your original and then you should see this one the administrator click on that open it and then you should see every bit of program or every files sorry all your files and folders your programs everything should still be there and you should be able to just basically run them without having to right click and run as administrator so if I leave that open and come back to Command prompt, I might have to open it again so I exited it. Right, C and D. Oh, see I've done that wrong. Let's try that again. Getting too quick for myself. So run as administrator. Yes. And I'm gonna basically use the same code, but all I'm gonna be doing is changing active to no because we don't want to act activate that administrator's account. So I push enter, the command completed successfully. So now we can exit out of that. And if I come back and refresh, okay, maybe not. I'll go back and click back on manage another account. And the administrator's account should be gone. So as you can see, it's now gone because we've now deactivated it. So it's just an easy way for you to be able to change anything you need to. Now, if for some reason you have a problem with loading your operating system and you can't get to the command prompt, you can use safe mode to make changes, but if you have your original or any um, operating system disk, as long as it's Vista or Windows 7, you can put that into your drive, boot from the disk, and it will ask you to press any button to boot from, from the CD or DVD, depending on what you've got in the drive. And the first screen you should see will be asking to select your country and your language. Select them, click, uh, sorry, click next. Then the next screen you see it will give you the option of installing the operating system or repair your computer. If you click on repair your computer, you should then be, <coughs> um, the options will be, um, for instance, to restore your computer from a, an image that you may have made. Um, you can restore your computer to a, a certain date. Um, you can you can actually restore your computer from certain dates that it would have backed it up for you and a couple of more options but the one I'm mainly focusing on is within them options you should see one saying command prompt if you click on that you can then use the command prompt in the way that I've just showed you and all you do is just literally use the same thing write it in click enter and it should enable that uh, administrator's account for you so i hope you find this helpful and please leave your comments and please uh, let me know if this helps you in any way it'd be good to hear 
back and uh, I'll have some more tutorials up soon. Okay guys, cheers.